Hi uh, guys, in this video I will show you how to create a uh, rock texture in Cinema 4D and V-Ray. So, let's begin. Now, I want to create a V-Ray advanced material. And I want to apply in the diffuse layer texture, in the diffuse color, my basic texture of rocks. Okay. And let's try to see what happens with this texture. Okay, as you can see, I wanna apply a best map preview size. 1K is better to see in the preview editor what's happened to my texture and my shader. try to apply my texture in a good position Cylindrical doesn't work good, so I go to spherical map. Maybe it's work better. Spherical. And properly scale it if it possible. Now we have some snapping enabled. Okay, very well. I like this texture. So I'm going to rotate to see better in this part of texture and uncheck seamless. This is a good UV, quick UV on my model. Okay, I'm going to pick my quick render settings rename it box or stone maybe stone and with my texture in the diffuse color I'm going to copy this Good. copy and paste it in my bump texture paste Apply to it uh, lay a filter layer and turn down all down my saturation. I, I want to increase my contrast a little bit to create my quick and simple band map. Now, if I want to see effect of this of this map I'm gonna see I have some bump on my on my shader so let's how it's work the bump map in my render Okay, as you can see, my bump map is too strong, uh, so I wanna to increase the contrast of this uh, bump to reduce the height in this uh, little of this little spot and increase the the bump in these cracks, eye cracks uh, value. So I wanna to increase the contrast. So I go to enable this kind of clipping and I think 
this kind of map is good for me so retest this bump in my picture viewer Okay, I have uh, increased the contrast in my bump map and the result is better for me but uh, feel free to, to try what you want in, uh, in your render and please note this is a fake um, of the displacement map uh, it's a quick uh, and uh, simple method to create a basic tone shader uh, because if you want a more uh, um, complex surface you want uh, you must um, use a displacement map but it's most um, more uh, um, areas to calculate in render and uh, in the in, in render sorry uh, so for this uh, it's work uh, very similar to uh, so to bump map but uh, um, it's take a lot lot time to render more time to render it uh, so after doing these uh, settings of my bump map I want to apply my diffuse uh, layer so activate the views layer one, where is my where my texture is, and this deactivate the white diffuse layer two that I don't want to see anymore. After this, I want to try a little test render to see what happened in my render. Okay, my diffuse and BAM map combined together works good and I want to apply a little bit of specular specularity with, uh, at, and reflection to my shader to create a little bit of nicer contrast to it so I'm gonna activate specular layer 1 go to BAM map, copy this texture paste it in my specular color reduce the contrast because in this case I don't want much contrast in the white area uh, so I'm going to create this kind of contrast I think it's work good for me and I'm going to reduce my reflection glossiness to about 0.7 we can test it and see what happened in my render now okay let's compare this new render with the previous one as you can see I have much much contrast in my shader but I think my reflection map is too contrasted so I wanted to maybe reduce by an half the weight of this map on my specular layer not that uh, the bump channel um, is uh, related with specular layer 2 so uh, the bump map is go to uh, increase the um, the type of reflection of uh, on my uh, specular layer so I want to decrease by an alpha my specular color map to have a nicer effect in my render so let's see what happened now
Okay, as you can see, I have more um, more um, specular in this render, and I think it's more uniform and correct for my kind of stone I want to create in this uh, in this thing. So, for this tutorial is all, and see you at the next one. And uh, follow me on YouTube and Instagram, please. Thank you so much. Bye.